Hey, what's going on? What's happening? How in the world are all of my fellow Quarantinians doing? Quarantinians. I just made that word up. So, um, when I, I wanted to pop on and give a couple of social media tips. I want to give some a couple of social media tips. You guys digging this new background? I like this new background. So, <clears throat> the social media tips that I have are as follows. What's up, Atlas128? Joe Ingram. Yes, yeah, social media tips. So look, this happens on a daily basis. Greg Crane, how you doing up in Canada, eh? So this happens to me on a daily basis. And I want to um I want to help some people with this. Bob Donnell. My dear friend, Mark Rodriguez, my brother, how you doing? So listen, Corey Calvin snuck in there. Didn't even see you there. What's up? What's up, Glow? 17 years of sobriety today. Good job, Glow Favro. 17 years sober. That is awesome. That is awesome. So I want to talk about something that happens a lot and listen i i it doesn't bother me that much most people have their facebook feed set up hey tammy woodard how are you most people have their facebook set up so and it's not for me it was glow glow has has 17 years uh, today is not my sober birthday. That is in August. Congratulations to Glow. She has 17 years sober. So, so most people have their Facebook or whatever set up. So if somebody tags you, you have to approve it. I, I have to approve before I let somebody, their post go on my timeline. And if I allowed every post on my timeline, my stuff would get buried. And so I don't allow everything on my timeline. In fact, most of the time, people will say, hey, do you care if I tag in this post because it's re relevant for you? If it's relevant for me, yeah. I mean, if it's not, I'm, I'm going to, I'm just, I'm, I'll just say, no, please don't. I, I don't like, I don't want, like I get people that tag me all the time every day and I don't allow a lot of it on my timeline. So, and, and there, there, look, go tag Grant Cardone. He won't allow, he allows zero on his timeline. Stop tagging people. Like it's not necessary. First put out good content. Come up with some good content and put out good content and let your social media grow organically. You don't have to tag people to get attention. You can let just put out good content. I'm 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 telling you that 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 tagging people is a surefire way, especially if you tag somebody and then they go in and remove the tag. It's telling Facebook that you're tagging people that, and it hurts. It hurts you in the algorithm. So don't don't tag people unless it's something that like I do. Like I've done. I did a video for Mark Victor Hansen and his wife, and I took that and I tagged them because it was a video for them and they appreciated that. Somebody does a video for me and they tag me. Hey, Ken Walls, I made this for you, blah, blah, blah. I'm, yeah, I'm done with that. That's cool. And, and it's an inside joke that Mike Phillips and I have that, you know, he, um, he every time he sees me, he tags me. I love that dude. He's funny. Um, but, you know, because I came on one time and I'm like, I only tagged you today so people would follow. You tagged me? 
Corey, 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 ah, poop. He meant poop. I know that's what he meant. Um, I didn't even know you tagged me. Hey, Pam Aubrey. That was an accident I clicked on you, but there you are. So, hey, wasn't an accident after all. So, listen, it's cool to tag people if you're, if it's, if you're trying to edify them or you're trying to, you know. But I have people that are like, hey, go check out my newest post about my business or my whatever. And they tag me on um now if it's an influencer tagging me that's one thing that it, it, but they know what they're doing i'm just saying that you've got to be careful who you're tagging and if you're tagging all the time be careful about it for real be careful and i, I again you don't have to listen to me keep tagging away man like but you're just you, it's not working i promise you that it's not working for you so I, that's that's number one. Number two, my second tip is be ready for this. Be authentic. Be authentic. Joe, I'm sending you something right now, brother. Um, be authentic. <clears throat> be real. Be real. Be yourself. Don't try to be something you're not. Just be real. Pam Aubrey, I got to you and I'm going to take my hat off to you right now. Last night, Pam did a live stream and she was unbelievably authentic. She was speaking from, she was speaking from her heart and you could tell, and she literally was crying and, and, and I'm not making fun. It was amazing. She literally was so into it. So feeling it so authentic and real that it brought tears to her eyes and she, she, she cried. And, and so, you know, being real being authentic is so important when you're, when you're trying to do use social media and live streaming, you know, I, I, I recommend live streaming because, because of that number one factor, what happened to the palm trees? I'm just changing it up, Carrie Lynn Carter. Just changing it up a little. We'll put the palm trees back. There we go. We're back. See? There. It's there. So, so be authentic. No, I started the tip number one being being stop tagging everybody. Like when I see that. I've been tagged. I'll look at it. And it says you, you and 97 other people have been tagged. I'm out, dude. I don't care who it is. I remove the tag. I click remove tag. It's a waste of time. And a lot of people do that. You know, I have, I have business partners and friends and people that, you know, Corey Calvin, if Corey tagged me, Corey's, Corey's got the, the thumbs up to tag me. Corey's got the thumbs up to tag me. We're partners and we, we, we work together. He's a client of mine, right? Pam is a client of mine. She tags me on something more than likely. I'm going to, I'm going to allow it on my timeline, but man, you, you start tagging like 42 people, you and 42 other people were tagged. Let's see what this dude has to say about it. What's up, Joe Ingram? Hello. I have to go jump over. I was watching you, so I have to go pause it. Sorry. If Amateur move. I I yelled at you once. Carrie Lynn Carter says I yeah I wouldn't yell at you. Come on. I believe you, Carrie Lynn. Oh. So like when, uh, and, and, and Jeffrey Wolf says, I mostly I'm tagging someone when sharing their poster video. And Kyle says, do you accept every LinkedIn connection? No, I do not. I used to. And that stuff bit me in the booty. How about you, Joe? It, not the good way either. Um, no. <laughs> so... I, I don't, I used to accept everything on LinkedIn, but I don't anymore because as soon as you do immediately following comes in the, hi, I can do this for you. I can do this for you. I can do this for you. And you get all of these, just a barrage yeah. of it. I was showing somebody the other day, like four pages long, four pages of just scrolling through every, every business proposition they could come up with. 
And I was I, like, dude, wow, you guys are horrible. You know, I'm in, I in gorgeous website, man. I'm in I'm in in website development, have been a long time, and it, it's crazy, man. I and they're getting really tricky, man. They're using like American names. <laughs> Is that a thing? American names? They're using American name. English names like Joe Ingram. And they're right. they're <laughs> and they're like they send me a friend request and I go and I look at it and it says they're in web development and all this stuff. And I dig a little deeper and their, their domain is in India or something. And then I get like, I've, ex I almost never, na I mean, I don't, I never, ever, ever accept a friend request on LinkedIn. If it says web development, cause I know what's coming. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Joe? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Were you trying to get onto my beach? Dude? Yes. I was looking for it. The beach had to be somewhere. Look, I'm, I'm feel like I'm in your office. So, um, what about when, when somebody does a Facebook post and they tag you and 38 other people, how does that make you feel? So, so for me, again, it, I, I, I always question what's their intent. So if I'm in right. the video or I'm in it, that's fine. But if you're just, posting me because you're you're you want access to my network yeah then then uh, i'm i'm not crazy about it and i remove it and so i get it all the time because for some reason facebook thinks my brother and i are the same person and so yeah. every time he posts a picture i get that little disclaimer thing it's up there and goes do you really want to add this to your timeline and i'm like why it's not me but <laughs> he is he is ruggedly good looking and we share that so oh my God. You both have a face made for radio. That's a true so, statement. <laughs> I'm just playing. So, so yeah, man. And, and you know, my, the two tips that I I'm giving are number one, being authentic, being yourself, being real, not trying to be something that you're not just, just be, be real, man. Like there's, you, that's what Instagram's for. If you want to be fake. Right. Do you have Instagram? But don't you see people on on live streams that you're like, that's not who you are, or worse, that is who they are. <laughs> right. See, I said I said that before. Weldon can say it for me. Right. He's like the sad part is is that is who Joe is. Uh, he is always that way. That's hilarious, yeah. dude. But ruggedly for sure. There you go. Now look at that picture and look at me. I don't understand. I don't see it. See, I don't see it. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> he smiles bigger than me. Oh. So. Uh, but no, so, I think I think it's wrong to try to jump into somebody else's network for your own personal gain. Yeah. It's really cheesy and it just doesn't represent you or your brand well. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get you blocked and unfriended. So you can't do it. So uh, Weldon was typing it. He said, I "Knew it. I knew it." <laughs> Weldon. And and so, stop tagging people, man. And and you know, Mike Mike Phillips heard me. I don't know if he saw it on Instagram once, or I did. I may have done a video saying, "Stop tagging me on everything, just so you can get in my feed," like. And, and so Mike Phillips now, every time he sees it, he'll tag, he, he randomly tags me throughout the year, just as an inside joke kind of thing. He is good people though. So it's okay. He's awesome. I love it, Mike. It's but, not like but, it's some of my posts where you're like, Oh no, no, no. But like Mike's not putting up a, a an ad for his business or his charity or his no. whatever and tagging me and you and everybody else he knows he he's got more class than that. And it is a class thing. So you can raise your class. Trust me, you have no idea where I started. Like you can level up, but you've got to, you, you got to like, uh, that requires taking different actions. <laughs> and and one of those actions would be. I'm, I'm not ready to do that. <laughs> okay. This whole elevate yourself. No, I know. No. I know. You, I wasn't talking to, to stop you. Stop tagging people. Yes. Stop tagging people. Yes. Hey, yeah. Ryan, Ryan Katie had a good comment over there. I'm not knocking Instagram. I'm just saying the older generation is not about fronting. 
Right. Okay. So I'm I'm not. I have friends with Lambos, like Ken, when he's in Ohio. The yeah. Scene behind him, he has his Lambo there. Yes. Right. Some friends have Maseratis, but I I don't go there, and I don't take pictures next to their vehicles and put it up on on uh, Instagram or Facebook. Right. So right. I know I've seen a lot of people that will be taking pictures outside with somebody else's car in this whole point of doing that. But yeah, I love yeah. Instagram. I Instagram on my time spent is uh, four times more than Facebook. And you guys know how I am on Facebook. Wow. Uh, so that's Sunday night report that they send me yeah, on my phone yeah. that says, here's your screen time usage. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. scary. Oh, so wow. Am I boring you? Yeah. Am I boring you right now? Hold on. Let me tag you on how to stop yawning. You know, online. since I've been doing all these live streams till three in the morning with Glenn, <laughs> my, my, uh, I got to get back on the right schedule here. But, you know, I, I just, you know, it happens every single day where somebody does it for live stream purposes and for, um, you know, look, if, if I'm going to go live and, and I want to, well, I don't use my phone to do live streams typically, which is the way that you can tag. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I just don't do that. Um, and this program I use, you can't tag. So, right. you know, but if I, if I was going to tag, like we, you know, the plan you can with, if you plan it out and then go and edit the post, but you know, and I'll tag you, I, you know, or I'll tag whoever I'm going live with. That's different. That's not the yeah. same. That's it's the people that are involved with you in the post. That right. Makes sense. Or I take a picture of you and I, like I could do right now here. I'm going to do it. Ready? Smile. I'm going to, I'm going to do a screenshot. Hold on. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Okay, Get ready. ready. Okay. Ready? Smile. And now maybe I'll use that later. Well, of course. And, and tag I, you. I'm sorry. The two people on Facebook that have the most duplicated accounts you just put on the same picture. Okay. I, I had 21 accounts last year uh, on Instagram that were made on mine and dating profiles and Facebook pages, all that stuff. And so only two this year. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think I've lost my appeal. Dude. Uh, Bob Donnell is awesome, man. I love that dude. Um, but, but you have to space it out more, Bob, because he'd say, you guys are too funny. Only all the time. So <laughs> you got to throw it out there. You know, uh, Glenn goes on live after you because he's getting really good at this stuff. He's he won't tonight. He's teaching for he's yeah. got two um, 12 hour days back to back. So, yeah. No, Samuel Sneed, go for it. Go for it. Especially when the bike's like half your size, everybody goes, yeah, oh, yeah, right. totally, totally killing it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's look again, if I'm going to take a picture with you or you, me and Bob are together and we take a picture and I put it up, I'll tag you guys. Right. That's different. But just if I go, Hey, I build websites and here, and I've never done anything for Joe, but uh, I did this one over here and I tag you like, right. dude, or, what? Stop that stuff. And you would even call me and go, dude, did, did you, you, you accidentally tagged me, right? <laughs> it's like, you didn't mean to do that. I wouldn't you? use nice words though. Right. I know. Yes. Because it's like, don't just stop, man. You're using it for business purposes. How about this? Who said it? Somebody said it. I think it was Ryan said it. Hang on. Somebody said it up here. Ryan hold said on. we were adorable. That's all I'm going to, I'm going to hold said, on to that comment. He said, actually, he said totes adorbs. Right. Is that what that means? Totally adorable. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm going to go with it. I'm on the air. He's not. Right? <laughs> Make this up as I go. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to answer Carrie Lynn Carter's comment right there. Yes. So oh. get this. Get this. This person goes on, takes my information, goes on to a dating app someplace, <laughs> right? And then hits on somebody I went to high school with. Right? No and, and, way. And I went to high school many, what, many what moons ago. Who, what, who was the lucky feller? Yeah, he was. He was. He was Bob. <laughs> no, um, we gotta bring bring Bob in. Talk about that story. <laughs> but no, the um, 
So, uh, so this person gets it and starts talking to the person and, and he's just talking away, talking away, talking. And we're like, thank you, Miss Pam. And I'm like, and so she sends me these screenshots where the guy's saying that my wife died and all this. Like I didn't update Facebook with, hey, funeral coming. Right. <laughs> and so but he's got his own profile, given all this stuff. And all oh, yeah. of them, for some reason, want iTunes gift cards. I don't know. Maybe. It, that's the best currency for overseas. So then she sends me the screenshots and I'm like, wow, what the hell is this? I'm like, what app is it? She told me, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. So not grinder, but, and I said, okay, wh what's going on? So she goes back and forth. And for like two weeks, she finally ends up getting this guy to show him the picture of him in Nigeria. Yeah. That went through, but he was saying all this stuff. And she finally had to tell him, she's like, you need to send me your picture. And he goes, this is my picture. And she says, um, you actually picked somebody I went to high school with that I see on Facebook lives all the time. This can't be you. And so he finally went, here I am. And a picture of him. Wow. Well, I, I, I had, I told you, I had, I, I forget what the number was. It was like 20 something in one day on Facebook. In one day. Dang, I was like, you pissed off somebody, somebody real. I mean, dude, it happens all the time. I, I can go in right now and find, I, and, and you know what? Now Facebook is saying, um, <laughs> I'm getting text messages, but Facebook is saying that, um, that they're the, the ones I'm reporting now, they're saying, well, there may be a long period of time before <clears throat> because of the, the virus. Before they can uh, review yeah, it. Because computers don't work well with viruses. Well, you know what? I mean, what's crazy about that is that they, you know, they have this facial recognition software. Like if I put ours up there, it may want to automatically tag you or it may even possibly notify you that, that I uploaded a picture with you in it. Do you want to tag yourself? But that's very sporadic. It's not, it's not all the time. Like, Correct. When, mine's, mine's Instagram. Mine is on yeah. almost every one of them was on Instagram other than yeah. I got the one that said the dating site one that came up. And then when I did the Google search for most of my profile pictures, yeah, that's when you go and you find all these other, other pages yeah. that have it. So it's insane, man. And I yeah. went to Nigeria like maybe three times. Come yeah. On. Well, I mean, so, I used to be a prince in Nigeria but I, I, well, gave, I, went to I gave money. away all my money. I didn't want to pay to transfer it. So I went because my uncle from there yeah. needed to bring it over. So I just yeah. went there to go pick it up. But I know. Yeah. Some well, I gave, I gave away all my money. So I lost my, my royalty card. Sad. Yeah, I know. So, so dude, number one, be authentic, be real. Just be, be real. That's, that's the biggest tip I could give anybody on, you know, especially live streaming. Number two, stop tagging other people, man, unless it's r relevant to them. In other words, it's a picture of you and them. Not, 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 I mean, I, you know, I've had people go, Hey, I'm in Ohio. They take a picture of the Ohio sign and they'll tag me. That's even okay. Like, okay. Yeah, that's cool. That, that's what DMs are for. Ohio. Huh? That's what DMs are for. Right. I mean, send it to DM me in the that. DM. Don't post that I'm with you and your ugly family. Come on. I don't want to see that. Yeah. I don't want um, to. So that. Bob Donnell said that was number two. I, I actually, Bob is texting me. That's, that's, that's why. Bob, so that's rude. I have it written down. Number one, be authentic, but that's not where I started. I started with the, the don't tag others. Um, but number, number one that I started this with is stop tagging people. Like just stop. Now, if it's again, relevant related to, you took a picture with them, you're doing a live stream with them in the live stream, not hoping they'll show up and watch your live stream or hoping they'll click okay and put your live stream on their wall. What you have to do is you have to create content that people like. 
And if you create content that people like and you come on and you go, hey, Bob Donnell, Carrie Lynn Carter, Jeffrey Wolf, how you guys doing? Hey, if you appreciate this content and you find it valuable, would love it if you shared this out. Would love that. Would absolutely love it if you shared this out. Would be so grateful. Thank you. And I don't have to tag them. No. All I have to do is, and and if they think my content sucks, A, they don't have to watch it, and B, they don't have to share it. And they don't have to feel all icky because I tagged them in, in a post. Like, I, that Jeffrey already shared. Look at that. Bam. Jeffrey. Jeffrey you, is Jeffrey. the man. He's the man. I just shared right now. It's a little late, but. Wow. You didn't consider your input in this live stream valuable enough. I to wasn't tagged in the actual beginning. So, you know, it just says Ken Walls is live. Look, Eric Swanson. Hey, the two dudes. He, he left out the word sexy. I think we <laughs> determined that earlier in the beginning. <laughs> right oh lord so so mama always said that sexy what? is as sexy does yeah do you do you agree though that that people should focus more on putting value in their content providing valuable content than than um bob Donnell shared thank you bob you rock you, bob. dude you rock if you if your content's valuable enough like you're a sales trainer, right? Correct. What type of sales training do you do? I specialize in taking virtual prospects and turning them into real live customers that buy things. So get okay. them off social media, get them off of internet, get them off the phone into your brick and mortar. Right. So <clears throat> if that's relevant for my business and you're putting out constant and good content, I'm going to stumble across one of your, your, your live streams or something of yours. Right. And yep. if I watch it, I engage in it and you engage back with me. Like I say, what's up, Eric Swanson, Frank Ingram's in the house. He thinks you're the teacher's pet dude. Like, like, when, when you're doing that, and here's the here's the psychology part of it, not that I'm a psychologist because I'm not, but I truly think that there's some psychology in this. If I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you and I go, oh my God, I love you too, Becky. You rock, Becky. And Becky, I really- Be careful with I, the autocorrect. It I, changed Joe to Ken. I <laughs> Gotta watch that, people. Pay attention I, I know, to I know. But when, when, you know, when you actually engage with your audience and say hi to them and you're engaged with your guests, like, like I'm talking to Joe right there, I'm talking to Joe, like, you know, it's like, oh, that's just so, so Valentine's Day people, picture. people, people appreciate you mentioning their names. They feel like wow, I'm I'm gonna share this out. He he messaged or he. Sorry, Weldon's throwing me. Weldon, off. your autocorrect changed too. <laughs> it changed Ken to <laughs> Joe. We know that one. Yeah, yeah. Carrie Lynn said that was awkward. Yes. So and, and and subtly erotic. No, no, no. Wrong three letters. You meant Bob, right? <laughs> nice, Bob. <laughs> So, so dude, what else, what other social media tips? What, what do you have? So, um, one of the things I don't like very often is watching people regurgitate the same thing. So they take a post and then they'll post it again later and then they'll post it again later and the they'll same keep post? the same post. Right. And so they'll go in and reshare something to put it back up to the front. And so that I'm not crazy about. So it's, uh, yes. Notice it's two of them, one for each of us. Yes. So <laughs> I love Becky. She's awesome. So, but resharing, if you just keep resharing the same post, I, I've seen people, okay, I did, I did a live stream a month ago and now I'm resharing it into the group four and five times. And so to me, it just gets, it looks overly desperate. Yeah. 
But again, if you've got good content, it'll get shared. So well, you, you're in Ohio, I'm in California. As I'm posting out to my network, if someone shares it, it'll go across, it'll go across, it'll go across. You'll come back and say, oh, hey, look, this is what I'm looking for. And again, I believe in engaging with everybody. I treat everybody like I'm the golden retriever and you just came home. Right. So, because everybody's okay with a dog that's excited to see them. So I do right. the same thing. Oh, and and just sent me a message. What is up with your live? <laughs> I'm like, I, I, well, uh, we're live. So, so I'll tell you one thing that I teach. And this, the, you may not like this. I don't know, but I, I know it to be a fact. Um, and you may disagree. And I know that that's not a fact. So um, I teach people to look, let's say that you go live at nine o'clock in the morning and you're talking about how amazing your BDC training is and, and everybody should sign up for it today or go get my go sign up for my newsletter today. And then at three o'clock, you're like, well, I want to do another live stream. The chances of you having the exact same audience at three o'clock that you had at nine o'clock are slim to none. Oh, slim to none. So it's okay to be repetitive if you're doing oh. live streams. I, I'm yes, live stream each time is different. I'm saying taking the same live stream and keep pun popping it out once a week. Oh, the same you reshare, 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 yeah, reshare. No. no, right? Don't do that. See, we're both brilliant. We don't have to disagree. That's right. That's right. So, I, I mean, I was, if, it was going to feel bad. It's your live stream and you're going to be wrong. And so I would, I would, I, would, I, yeah, I could argue that. So, you know, and the other thing is this is, is, you know, I think that people also, because they're afraid of making mistakes of tagging Joe and tagging me and doing the wrong thing. That is a wrong thing, by the way, just so we, should we reiterate that? And, and also don't just add a comment telling me to come look at your stuff. Cause that's a tag too. That's a right? tag. It's not yeah. a tag in the post, but now I get a notification that says so-and-so mentioned you in a comment and yeah. I'm like, okay. And this is something to do with any place else. <laughs> So Becky, Becky, you're wrong. Becky, Becky autocorrect. No, autocorrect. Becky, back again. Becky's got it. She's right. Yes. Becky, you're right, and she's always right. Yeah, I'm never wrong, and she's always right. I, I am always right. Once I thought I was wrong, but I wasn't, so it's okay. <laughs> so, for example, if I'm promoting a long video, would posting different highlights from the same video be an example of tedious no. reposting of the same info? No, no, it would not. You no, can because you can you're taking that. the time to cut out the the snippets right. or the teaser reel because we have what 1.4 seconds to grab their attention. Right, then that's completely fine in doing that. And that's why I have. Um, you know, I have the, the, look, I have the palm tree, right? I have, I have big, sexy Joe on my, my stream with me. <laughs> All right. Hold on. What was that? Never Nacro be normal. Normal people get normal paychecks. I love that dude. Love that. So. <laughs> exactly. I'm on your profile every day. Come on now. Exactly. So, so, but that's what I'm talking about is if, if you, if you do that, you make yourself look foolish. You make yourself look foolish if you're doing things like tagging people, man, like just to try to get your advertisement. Is that how they say it in the UK? Um, get, I was just like, dude, I, I love your training. I appreciate who you are and you're a good dude. And then I, I, and he was like, he literally called me that day. It blew his mind. He called me. I was like, wow. So like, how do you get attention? You give attention. You give first. And, and if you're sitting there thinking, why would I need to do that for Grant Cardone? Then you're not the person that's going to get the benefits from it. Because no. if you go, he's rich, he's got this. I shouldn't have to do anything extra to get his attention. That's and right. Do, do you know who I am? Well, that means your focus is wrong, right? 
And we can always find out your focus is wrong when you're worried about you as opposed to the other person. This guy right here, did you see Judd Burton and I on Sunday, I think it was, we we talked on a live stream. That the one with the compound. Yes. Were you on there? I was. Oh my I God. always watch you, Ken. Sometimes I just sit underneath the desk and watch, but you know, <laughs> so you can't tell. But. Becky, I love you. You're awesome. Thank you for your kind words. I really mean that. She's I'm gonna start crazy. texting people to jump on and promote me. So Becky's <laughs> killing it out there. So, hey guys, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Like Jump and, on, and say nice right stuff right yeah. here, dude. Judd just said, it. if you give a lot, you'll get a lot. And Joe, you're a thousand percent right, dude. If if you have to be told, if if you if it runs through your mind, why would I ever have to give Ken Walls any attention or Joe any attention? They're getting so much attention. They have fake profiles made with their pictures. They don't need any more attention. You're never going to get where you want to get in life, dude. I'm just telling you right now. You, True. Like, seriously, you might as well shut down all of your social media accounts and get off of social media because you don't know how to use it. And if your mind is stuck in that mindset, you're just screwed in life, man. Like, I mean. A Judd guy's pretty smart. He's very smart. I mean, very smart. <laughs> Look, if Judd needs a groundskeeper, I'm available. Hey, I already called dibs on that job. I'm going down. I'll be the I'll be your pool boy down there, whatever I need to do, man. So um you can never have enough attention. That's right. Just have Unless a heart. You're being arrested. Here, I got I got I mean, Becky. <laughs> I Thank, thank you, Becky. I didn't oh, pay Becky, her to come, come on, on now. I swear. Becky, come on now. She's amazing. Oh, look, look. There's one for me. All right, there you go. $20. For <laughs> <laughs> that is so See, funny. but he's in sales too. First one was free. Uh, he he delivered first, and then he set the ground rules for going forward. And if he didn't have your same exact last name, it right. would almost seem authentic. Yes. Yeah. He's on my live call every Wednesday. He's good. That's he awesome. knows what to do. So, but. so get into the mind. I love that. You brought that up. I love that. That. What else, man? Give me another tip. Let's give him can, another can tip. We, can we go to start using video more? Right. So again, we, we go over all the communication styles, right? Body language is your biggest communicator yep. of what you're doing. And if you're going to keep putting it into a post that I have to read, think about this. How many times are you guys going to scroll on an email and you know, you're not going to hit that little read more on a Facebook post because it truncated it. If, if Facebook is telling you, you wrote too much, then remember that everybody who's going to be looking at it is going to read, is going to say it's too much to read. And so you got to just shorten it up, put a video out that says, Hey, this is what's going on. This is what I want to do. Blah, blah, blah. If you can't keep it to, I, I used to say 140 characters and then Twitter made it 280. So just, just try to, again, keep it short and sweet. If not flip to a video and uh, it'll, a video will always represent you better than the words that somebody can misinterpret and take out of context, unless you're me. And of course, you'll say something you're not supposed to say. <laughs> well, and it, look, live stream video gets live video, not record pre-recorded. Live video gets more eyeballs than any other social media for, form of social media posting you can do. Right. I mean, well, again, uh, because why? Everybody that's over here on the right is included. They're included in it, whether you get the comment up or not, because everybody else is commenting on the other side. Like if I'm not on the screen, I'm always commenting, having side conversations, you know, trying to take people the attention away from you. But. Right. I, I know. I, I like that. It is. It's add value to your clients. But I, to me, if you're going to sit down, think about what you want to post. What's the outcome you want to get from that? OK, yep. so I had somebody the other day post it up. And it was basically calling somebody else out to uh, fight kind of deal. Very um, like third grader ish kind of deal. But it was he was out there going, oh, you want to do this? And it means a grown man 
calling out another grown man. So then I jump over and, and private message, not on the actual page, yeah. but private message. I said, hey, bro, what's going on with you and so-and-so? And he goes, oh, blah, 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 and lists off all these things in all caps because he's angry, right? And he's going through. And I was like, okay, but do you understand what you just did? If anything he said about you, you just validated. You just made it look that bad right? because you're validating exactly what he just said. Yep. And so for you to be acting childish, to be acting this other stuff. And so um, then two days later, he sends me a message and goes, so what should I do? And I'm like, okay, he calmed down enough to, to ask right. for that. I'm not going to give him the advice. And then I told him, I said, delete the post, go up there and apologize for immaturity and doing this other stuff. And I said, I'll be the first one to comment and keep it positive. And then you'll notice everybody else will stick with positive because if I go blast you as the first comment, then everybody's going to start using it as a blast and think it's okay. Right. And then, I mean, he, he messaged me like right after that. I was like, I never knew I had this many people in my corner. Right. And I was right. like, okay, but we're all here. And yeah. guess what? On Facebook, the average user spends 1.1 hours a day on Facebook. So again, don't put out something that's going to bite you later just because you, for a temporary emotion you just had. Yeah. It's like eating the whole bag of Oreos because you wanted to, and then you feel guilty later. Well, nobody knows if you sat at home <laughs> eating the Oreos, but guess what? Whoever screenshotted the crap up there to send to somebody else right. has it in their phone. That's right. People don't think, man. They, they don't think before they put out social media posts and commenting on stuff and you know, is, is, is what it is, man. If you find yourself in that hole, good luck getting out of it. But, you know, I think that, that, you know, first be authentic. Number one, be authentic. Just be yourself. The, the market will, will, will help you adjust to where you need to be. <laughs> like it just will. So just be yourself. Um, stop tagging everybody. Stop tagging anybody. Let your, let your, your social media grow organically, like just put out good content and allow your people that, that love you and follow you and they'll, they'll share your stuff. You'll get traction if you're just putting out good content and stop tagging everybody, man. Stop. I don't do it unless I'm going live or it's relevant. I really, sometimes I go, okay, is this really, really relevant? For Joe, should I tag Joe in this? Right. Because you're going to lose half the audience if you do. Right. Right. You it really are. Sense. So, but, but again, yeah. what, are, what, are you put, what are you putting out there? If it's for self promotion, then go run an ad. Right. Weldon will like that one. Right. Run an but ad. Run an ad for self promotion. Your posts shouldn't all be that way. And so, I, what is it? The number one complaint that people have for, um, in, in Facebook is that you post too many promotional things about yourself. Yep. Right. So like I've been in this game teaching people sales and everything else. And I will tell you that I am known for being the bacon lover on my page. So every time somebody posts that little video of that kid in the high chair going, Oh, bacon. Yeah. Right. One person posts it and I get it like 25 times in my, in my feed. And they're like, Joe, thought of you, thought of you, thought of you. And I'm like, hey, 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 let's go back to Joe teaches you how to sell. But right. bacon, bacon is where it's at. And I'm okay with it. I mean, right. look, it's, 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 it makes you unique in that way, right? Like people, yep. people think of you. It's that simple. I get onto people's pages now on their live streams, or I'll pop in and say hi. And somebody's, somebody goes, oh my God, it's Ken Walls. Mr. Breakthrough Walls is here, right? right. Because yep. I have the show and 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 I've branded it and all of that, so you know and you're not the Kool Aid man. We know that totally different wall breaking. Totally different. Totally different. So but what if you engaged with the people that actually tried to engage with you? Right. Have you noticed that too? You have people that are like somebody's asking questions, engage, and nobody ever goes back to to talk to those people. Right. It or may take they, a couple yeah. days to get through something. They'll do a live stream and they'll have, you know, 30 comments and they don't even acknowledge one single time that Weldon wishes he did more self-promotion. Becky loves bacon too. Right. Now we built a bridge, Becky. 
making. You see that? We've built a bridge. It's We're a so flimsy one made friends. out of bacon, so I'd be careful crossing it. Yeah, you may, you may want to want deeper foundations than bacon. I'm just saying. Does it get deeper? That's my question <laughs> to you, right there, because that's what destroys relationships. All right. Yeah, it Is does. One person doesn't. Right. So. So listen, I don't want to stay on here any longer than I mean we're at it. Dude, we're already at an hour. That's no right. way. Yes, we are. You, you must have been talking for the first 45 then. No. Before you brought me in. I was on for five minutes. Five minutes. Ann says Ken always responds to his comments on I do. I do. I always respond. I don't always go back and 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 type a response on every, every, I just don't like, I'd never get anything else done if I did that. And I know right. there are people that do that and think that they should do that. I don't think it's necessary. You I notice you didn't pick Becky's comment now. Cause Which one? Right, the, that, that one there. That's great. Go up to all this. No down one. Oh, this, sorry. Well, that's no. The one right above that one says My bacon bad. is My pretty bad. deep. Ken Come always on. there. That one. Yes. No. No, little what? boy. I'm I watching don't... the same comments you are. Bacon <laughs> is pretty deep, Ken. Right there. The validation. And then the following one was Frank saying we're family now because now she gets it. So uh, that's funny. It's a bond that builds. It's it's really spiritual. Dude. How did this go? This how did we do an hour already? I have no idea. Maybe the time setback, like daylight savings or something in the middle. How, no. That doesn't I even no that, clue. I really think there's something wrong with this this clock up at the top. There is something definitely off, man. We didn't do an we didn't do an hour. Let's ask somebody from the beginning. Did it feel like we wasted an hour of your life? No, because we gave you value. I mean, right. It's valid. Let's ask Pam. Pam was there in the beginning. Carrie Lynn Carter jumped on right away. Is Pam still here? I don't think she's still here. Well, of course not. It's oh an hour. Oh, my God. Ann said go for two. No. Wow. No. that We no. don't do that till we start at 9 o'clock on the West Coast. Right. Then we go because Ken oh, doesn't get to sleep. It's 6.47 out there, yeah. right? It's 9.47 here. I'm done, man. I Me just too. want to come on and – Give a couple of tips, man. And and you and I talked beforehand. I said, hey, let's get you on too. So thanks. And dude. I appreciate you. You're my brother itching. from another mother. Word. Word. All right. Hey, listen, you guys. Oh, Pam's still here. That's my girl right there. That's right, That's Pam. Awesome, Did it feel Pam. like an hour, Pam? Because we're creeping up on an hour. We are literally like right on an hour. The message is do not tag Ken. No. That's not the message. Oh, wait, Get hold on. Here. You I, need to, I need to change my all, note. All you want. I was with Ann. Don't tag Ken. You can tag me all you want. I love you too, Becky. You're awesome. You interrupted me while I was, I don't eat bacon, so I probably, shh. <laughs> That's awesome. So you interrupted me while I was harassing Joe. So here's the thing. Like True. if you're trying to use social media to build your business or build a brand, don't tag if you're if you're trying to use social media to make yourself look dumb, then do tag everybody. Yeah. Do because then if you're trying to lose friends, tag the crap out of everybody. Do it. Because you'll lose friends that way. You you can't you, I'm, you can do that, but it's the best and fastest way to lose friends and not build a social media following presence or business via social media. Am I right or am I right? If you looked at it that way, you're right. <laughs> wow. Dude, dude, we got 20 seconds to jump off of here. I think Let's Weldon's upset seconds. about the Becky comment. Yes. He's mad. Don't be mad, bro. Don't be a hater. Pam, Pam, you got a good point. I want to thank you for that. Gorgeous Pam out there. Wow. What yeah. is going on here? I owe a lot of money today. I owe a lot of money. <laughs> oh my There's God. so many people I owe money to. Yeah. All right. We are done. One hour. Bam. What's up? Bam. We made it. We All made right. It. Listen, you guys have an awesome night. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with the on the Joe and Ken show.
Or is it the Ken and Joe show? KJ, it's your show. I'm the, I'm just a squirrel and a nut, right? You're the tree. I'm just trying to get there. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.